flawless victory. Hey guys, Mono here, and today I'll be talking about Half Tracks, one of the biggest additions to the game in Update 11, and a vehicle that people apparently feel compelled to drive straight into the enemy strong point and get completely annihilated, like they're some part of some suicide cult or something. I've seen this happen multiple times already, and I think it will keep on happening. So I wanted to make a video to help people understand how Half Tracks should be used when or why they should be used and if they should actually be used at all. Maybe you're better off just not using them, honestly. All right, so let's talk a bit about what half tracks actually are. They are vehicles that are worth 300 fuel. That's three times the amount of fuel you need to summon a supply or transport truck. And the way these work is when you turn off the engine, they turn into a garrison. So when they spawn at the HQ, they are already a garrison because they spawn with the engine turned off. And if you drive them around, you know, and get off the half track, that does absolutely nothing. That's just you using a taxi, basically. But once you turn the engine off, it turns into a garrison that only gets locked if an enemy is, I think, within 10 meters. I'm pretty sure it's 10 meters. If it's not 10 meters, it's like 12 or 15. So that allows you to basically build a garrison very close to the enemy or in an area where a red zone garrison would actually get locked, right? So they do have their use case, but they are also the most expensive, inefficient, and riskiest way for you to build a garrison. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that half tracks, when they act as garrisons, they have a 60 second timer for the spawn wave associated to that garrison instead of the 40 seconds that you get for a regular garrison. So half tracks are not a replacement for an actual garrison. If you're thinking about building a garrison, and there's a half track available at HQ and you go like, oh, I can just drive a half track there and turn off the engine and boom, I have a garrison. That is not how you should be thinking about it. You should go build a garrison with a supply truck or with a support player, you know, or whatever it is, commander, airdrop supplies, whatever. They are not a replacement for garrisons for multiple reasons. One is the 60 second timer versus 40 seconds, which might not sound like a huge difference, but that's 50% less spawn waves in total. So in 10 minutes with the half track, you have 10 spawn waves. With an actual garrison, you would have 15 spawn waves. And that is a significant difference. Second reason is that people will drive away with it. So it is unreliable. Once you build the garrison, that garrison remains there until the enemy takes care of it, right? Or until the commander deletes it or something. The half track you know, any random player can just drive away with it. So it's obviously, you know, it's not the best. Maybe at some point they change that. Maybe they make it so only squad leaders are able to drive them or something, which, you know, could reduce the amount of problems with people driving away with them. The third reason why they are not a replacement for Garrison is just their cost. At 300 fuel, that is a massive cost to pay for a single Garrison. You can get two garrisons out of a supply truck and that is a hundred fuel. So that's three times less for twice the amount of garrisons, not considering the fact that you can drive the supply truck back to, you know, replenish supplies at the HQ and then go build an infinite amount of garrisons. So spending 300 fuel to basically get a single garrison is just really expensive. It is a complete waste of resources. As a commander, you should not be doing this. So now let's talk about situations where using a half track is actually a good idea. First situation I'd say is to set up an attack or a defense by just driving the half track to a position that's remote, that's far away, that's hidden from the main front line. And you just have that part there sitting there. And once you need it, because you've capped the sector and you need to move onto the next sector, you can just move the half track a few meters you know, maybe 200, 300, 400 meters, whatever it is towards the next objective. And you just have a spawn point ready, right? You could do this with a supply truck, but it's kind of different because, you know, you, you have to drive the supply truck from the HQ. You could drive the supply truck from the HQ up to a garrison, just park it there and then spawn at that garrison, get the supply truck and do the exact same thing. But with the half track, it's more convenient because you can just spawn where the half track is, right? You don't have to build a garrison to park the half track there to be able to pick it up later. You can just drive the half track past the middle of the map or at the, to the middle of the map or whatever and use it when you actually need it. 
And the flip side of this is using it defensively, which might actually be even better. If you're gonna lose a point, then you can get a half track, deploy it, and you will still have that garrison to spawn on, even though you just lost the point and all your garrisons and OPs have been destroyed. And even though, again, you can do this with a supply truck, the red zone garrisons will get locked when the enemy is within 100 meters. So obviously that's like the half track is a better alternative if you think the enemy might be close or if you're in a match where there's a lot of people roaming around everywhere, uh, you know, lots of people in different areas of the map, then a half track would guarantee that spawn wave every 60 seconds versus a red zone garrison that you might not get a spawn wave from in several minutes. One kind of surprising use for these half-track garrisons is actually to use them to replace your backline garrisons. Now, yes, I know I said they shouldn't be thought of as a substitute for actual garrisons, but this is the one exception. If you're winning 3-2 or 4-1 and need to delete some old garrisons, or if you have a recon team that is constantly taking out important defensive garrisons, then a half-track is actually a really good solution if you can afford the fuel cost. Half-tracks will stump enemy recon units since they literally can't do anything to them. They don't carry the explosives necessary to destroy them and they can't dismantle them by hand. So other than marking them on the map, which isn't really a problem either if you occasionally move them around, you're effectively neutering any recon squad that wants to focus on destroying your garrisons. Having them as a backline Gary also means they can very quickly be driven up to attack if necessary and replacement garrisons can be built where they used to be very, very easily. And lastly, they are really useful for finishing up an assault. So let's say you're attacking a position and you are starting to put some cap pressure in onto the enemy, right? If there is a spot where you can park the half track that is very close to the strong point or cap sector and you just want to complement the attack garrisons that you have. Maybe the attack garrisons that you do have are far away. A point that comes to mind is something like West Bend where you can't really have your attack garrisons be very close to the point. Then you can just, you know, drive a half track, hide it in the forest and use it there as a spawn wave for the entire team. And that's going to make capturing the point way easier. We recently had this I think, um, yeah, Raz, Raz Bora drove a half track onto the point on Cemetery on SME. Uh, there's a wall there, so you just park the half track behind the wall and the enemy can't really damage it in any way. So, yeah, we just did that and capped the sector. Places like those where you can guarantee that the half track will be safe because it's behind a wall or it's behind a building or some otherwise, you know, large piece of cover that the enemy won't even see the half track maybe until it's too late, then those are really good situations for it. It can also be really useful at the start of the game when fighting for that middle sector, since you can't build garrisons in the neutral zone, but using the half track to deploy a garrison does work. So that definitely can sway the battle in your favor if you're fighting for that middle area for a prolonged amount of time. So to wrap things up, half tracks are not a replacement for garrisons. If you're a blueberry, if you're not a squad leader, then you probably shouldn't move them. So stop moving them. And even if you are a squad leader, then ask before you actually move one, because maybe it's in a position there for a reason. And above all, they shouldn't be driven straight into the enemy position, thinking you will magically be able to turn off the engine and spawn the entire enemy team and get things over with. As a final note for commanders out there, the half track is really expensive for what it is, so you probably don't need it. You don't really need it to be able to win a match. That's something that commanders need to start thinking about, the fact that there are abilities now, you have to choose which ones you will actually use. You don't really have to use all of them. You don't really have to use a strafing run just because you have it available, or a half track just because you have the fuel for it. You have to think about whether or not you will then have the fuel for a tank in the future once you actually need that. That's something that commanders need to start thinking now that you don't just have unlimited resources. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any other uses for the half track that you wanna recommend, then please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and share it. And if you wanna catch me playing Hell at Loose Live, then you can do so on Twitch. The link for that is down in the video description. As always, thank you for watching and I hope I will catch you in the next one.